Yeah, morning everybody. Um, today I'm going to try and finish this step off. Uh, that's going to be the first job I do. Um, my plan is that I'm going to get the wood step on the top first. These steps were never the same height anyway. This one was always higher. Um, so I've got to go with the same. This is set nice and solid. Uh, so I'm going to put the piece of wood across the top first to roughly match in with the boards on the other side because all of that landing area will one day have new floorboards. So yeah, that's the plan, is to get them as close as I can to the height of uh, these boards here. Uh, on the front, I'm just going to pack it out with stone and cement it in to give it the same effect as this. Uh, I don't think I can get a nice finish by putting the stones all the way across the top as well because of these wooden joists that are here. So yeah, first job is to try and I've got a floorboard which I'm going to use, put a board on the top, I may have to pack it out a little bit, get that nice and level and then uh, do the front and uh, also this side piece area too. Okay, first job for today, talk to you later.
Well, thankfully, that's all the sanding finished. I might find odd bits that I've missed, but uh, yeah, I think uh, we can call that finished. So I'm gonna clean it all down. Probably gonna take an hour or more to do all that because there's lots of dust. Once all that's done, and then I wanna work on the beans. Talk to you later. Well, give yourself a good brush down. You just don't believe how much dust there is here, but uh, anyway, I'm gonna let it all settle for like half an hour to an hour. Uh, go and have a coffee, maybe two, and uh, then I'll come back, brush the beams down again, and then see how this waxing goes. Nice job, onwards and upwards. Okay, so about an hour or so, an hour and a half has gone by since uh, I cleaned everywhere up and I've cleaned all the floor and everything else. Uh, obviously you can't get all the dirt up straight away, I mean it'd probably take quite a few uh, sweeps of this and hoover on it and everything else uh, before we get rid of all the dirt. But uh, I've got enough up and uh, cleaned all the beams enough that uh, I can now put some wax on. Uh, the product I'm going to use is this it's uh, called bright wax so that's the name of the company and uh, this is a dark color a jacobean oak uh, very natural i think everything in it's natural in a former life i used to uh, sell this as a product so you know i can highly recommend it and uh, hopefully it will make a nice job of the beans what i'm going to use uh, to put it on with is initially i want to try just some normal uh, paint brushes uh, that should get into all the little crevices and cracks on the beams. <coughs> if that doesn't work, I'll think of plan B. But yeah, they're what I'm going to use to put it on with. I bought a couple of these to buff it up afterwards. Uh, leave it a while and then I'll buff it up. So uh, I think these should make a good job of that. So I bought one or two of those. So I'll see how we go. Uh, hopefully it'll make a nice job of it. Um, and then it makes a good job of that, uh, what will do this to do? So I've got uh, three more after this. My plan as well is that I'm going to do the floor in this, um, see what time I've got left before I leave, because there's quite a big uh, square metrage here, so uh, as I said I'd have to clean it down a few times, but I'm also thinking of doing the floor a darker colour. I don't want this light pine, and I thought that would go nice with the beams. So yeah, I'll get on with it and uh, see what it looks like. Okie doke, cheers. Well, first impressions are this is great for putting it on. It's going on uh, quite smoothly. Um, the heat uh, sort of makes this melt a tiny bit, so it's making it easier to go on. Um, really dark, but it will buff up really nice, I hope. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to carry on with the whole of this beam, and I'll come back to you when I've finished. Well, that was pretty good. Uh, quite easy to put on. It's like... Um, spreading melted butter really um, because of the heat this just tends to melt a little bit so yeah pretty easy to put on really like the finish this will uh, dry off go probably a little bit lighter 
uh, and then I'll buff it all up. Um, I'm going to probably do this once a year for the next uh, couple of years at least and uh, just feeds the wood and nourishes it and uh, hopefully brings it back to life a little bit because these beans have been here a long time and um, they have been neglected obviously. So yeah, that was easy enough to do. Um, I think my brush has about had it, uh, but definitely the right way to put it on. Um, I'll go and get another brush and uh, carry on with the others and I'll come back to you when it's finished. Oh yeah, and the smell is incredible. Such a nice smell this is, so uh, added bonus. Well, I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, it went on easily enough. It's so warm that the wax, which was uh, almost solid, has now turned to almost liquid form. So uh, it went on easy enough. I love the colour. I've decided I'm going to leave it for at least a couple of days before I even buff it up because I just wanted to soak in and feed the wood. So long since this, uh, well, these beans have had any sort of uh, treatment on them. So yeah, it, uh, it didn't take too long. Really pleased with it. You won't need doing again now, probably for a year. And uh, on to the next job. Okay, cheers.